Monday. Um, please ignore my lingerie back there. I was too lazy to take it down. It's just drying. Um, it's probably dry by now. My husband put it up there. Um, today we're just doing a get ready with me. And I'm fixing my camera. And I was going to say, I was going to put in my hair clips that I got from Paparazzi. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like Paparazzi jewelry or whatever. I'll link, I'll link it down below. I get it from my my friend's mom's best friend. I'll link her site down below. Um, she does lives and stuff. And I don't wear a lot of jewelry because I'm allergic to everything. So I like hair clips. I have a bunch of them on my vanity. Um, and I like to match them to my scrubs. And today I'm wearing like this heart one my friend Riley got me. She works with me at the prison. And so we're matching this one today. And I have all these like baby flyaways, especially since I let my hair grow. Because my husband likes it long. I actually might cut it all off today. We'll see. We'll see if I get that wild hair to just like cut it all off. Especially since it's hot. But anyway. Um, oh, excuse me. I just had my coffee. So now I have coffee burps. Excuse me. And I have one cat in here but he just locked himself in it's jack if you've met jack he's the big fluffy one and now he can't figure out how to open the door so excuse me okay. let me show you him because he's pretty cute if i can there he is say hi jack jack yes and that's not like a jizz rag or anything um for those of you watching old enough to know what that is, um, I actually had my, I was washing my brushes and then they were drying on that. So let me open the door for him so he doesn't freak out. Hold on. Come on, Luke. Come on, baby kids. There you go. You can get out if you want. Come on, Luke. The door was open. I don't know how he like managed to close himself in, but whatever. Anyway, moving on. So I'm just getting ready for work. I'm working at the prison today. So, they don't really care about masks, so I'm going to try out my new Kylie lip kit. And I already drank all my coffee, and it was in this really cute Mrs. mug that I've used before. My mother-in-law bought me this. I think it was from, like, Ross. There's a Mr. Cup, too. Anyway, now that all of that is out of the way, let's put makeup on. I even wet my sponge. You'd be proud. I remembered. So we're going to start with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, this one's really good for lasting. I'm not going to be there all day. I'm only going to be there for six hours because I have some stuff to do. My husband's birthday is coming up and I know he's not going to watch this and he's asleep right now so I'll just tell you. Um, I'm going to Nadine's Bakery if you're if you're familiar with um, Tucson. I'm going to go um, there and see if they can get him a cake and put his picture on it because his birthday's coming up and then I have his friends coming um, to his birthday dinner but they just told me that they can't come on his actual birthday so I have to like figure out if we're gonna do it this week or what we're gonna do so I have to see if we can move around his birthday dinner or whatever so that's what I'm doing and then I have to get my hair done because look girl is fucking atrocious like look. yeah you can see all that gray I got a huge patch of it now I have to cover it back up so that's why I can't stay at work all day today, but otherwise I would. And then I'm just using my Born This Way, you already know, because none of you have given me any recommendations for anything drugstore, and this is honestly the best foundation I've used. I'm like, I'm so sorry I've been MIA, so tell me what's going on in your lives. Not that any of you comment. Most of you actually, like know me personally so you just message me and tell me stuff but I wish you would just comment down below because then I feel like the people that don't know me personally would actually like comment because I am now up to 81 subscribers which is fantastic and I'm very thankful for that I'm amazed that people actually want to like listen to me ramble in my room at like 4 30 in the morning oh no I don't even know where my mirror is. What did I do with it? I put it on the other side of the room. Hold on.
I was gonna say, why did I do that? And then I remember I was cleaning off my vanity because um, my husband and I were cleaning yesterday. Like peasants, I know. Um, I actually bought a Groupon for a company here in town and I was trying to get them to come out yesterday and they were like, oh, we don't come on Sundays. And I'm like, well, of course you don't. Um, and I want them, sorry, scooting in. I want them here on a day that I'm here. I don't want like some stranger in my house when I'm not home, you know? And unfortunately, my husband and I are only off on weekends together. And so it sucks, it's like, they have to be here on weekend when we're both here. And I work, you know, 60 plus hours a week between the two jobs. And I work from home, too. And I would, I would have let them come this week, but I have stuff going on. So I was just trying to figure out when they were going to come. So anyway, I was cleaning the house. I feel like my brain's like 100 miles a minute right now. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I was cleaning the house and I moved my mirror over there. That's what I was trying to get at. Next, we're using the Born This Way Concealer. Um, this is actually a new one. If you saw my empties video, I used up the old one completely. And I have this patch right here. I just covered it up with concealer, but I have a psoriasis patch, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I keep forgetting to put my cream on it, but it's doing a little better. It's known as red. So that's what I'm covering up right there. Thankfully, it's not super noticeable unless you like really get all up in there, but it's noticeable to me, so we're covering it up. It mostly just looks like a dry patch, but it's definitely psoriasis. It's like a plaque. And if you don't know what psoriasis is, it's basically your body, like your skin attacking itself, and it gives you like random plaques. And I'd never gotten them on my face before until recently. Um, and then I had one on my cheek, and now I have one right below my lip. I'm just a mess. I'm allergic to jewelry. I get psoriasis. I have eczema. I was like, I have a lot of skin issues. So that's why I pretty much only wear my wedding ring. And like, I love costume jewelry. I want to wear it, but like, I just can't. Like, I only wear like, um, certain earrings don't bother me. I have to be really careful about earrings. I have to switch them out pretty often if I do wear like cheapos, you know. And I want to wear nice earrings, but you know, then you have to buy like gold or silver or something, and so it's just kind of annoying. And I used to have my ears pierced all the way up, and I had to stop that because I was getting like infections. It was like the struggle. I was like, my belly ring is acrylic. Like, anyway, it matters. Um, I'm gonna use the Too Faced powder. Obviously, I really like Too Faced skin products for my dry ass skin. Pierre, be good. So my husband bought me roses a while ago, so I had roses up on my dresser. And I have to do another room tour because my room has changed significantly since the last time I did a room tour. And by significantly, I changed my dresser. It was this like wooden one, which I hated, and we switched to something that actually fits my room, like style-wise. And where I was going with that, is my husband just bought me roses like a week, two weeks ago, randomly when he was at the store buying me wine because he's great. And the cats, if you know anything about cats, they love flowers. And so they were constantly trying to get up on my dresser to eat the roses and they did a pretty good job. They did munch a few of them. And so I have to keep watching them now because they'll get up on my dresser this is the dresser, which is super cute by the way, but like you see him plotting his next move. And they'll get up there and they'll eat the fake flowers right there and then there's jewelry right in front of it, the jewelry I can't really wear. And they'll get in front of it and chew on the fake flowers and then try to break that vase and so I just have to watch them. But they like being in here, especially Weasley. If you've met Weasley, you should have by now. He's my old man, my new old man. After Snowflake passed, we got, I got a message from an old friend asking me to take an old man. And I said, absolutely. So now we have an old man. 
Okay, let's start with eye makeup. Oh, eyebrows. My NYX micro brow pencil, nothing new. I was like, I'd like to try new stuff, but I everything I've found works so far, so we're just going to go with this. Here, I'll put this under here so you can see. I have a decent amount of brow hair, so I just kind of go through kind of quick. And, like, I'm glad I have a decent amount of brow hair, but it also means I have to pluck them pretty frequently. I pluck them probably once a week. And it's not even like, you know, to shape them. It's just like these baby hairs down here that you probably can't even see because this camera is not that great. And that was one of the reasons I was trying, like I wasn't filming that much is because I was like, oh, I'm going to buy a new camera. And then I never did. Because this camera is just from like a, a pawn shop here in town. And I was going to buy another one because I'm sure people have, you know, sold or pawned and then not come back for it, which is fine. Um, another nice camera especially because I would like to not have to share with my husband because he'll take it into the we call it his man cave but it's a shed basically out and back the garage and he'll leave it out there and it's covered in you know chalk from his workouts and stuff and then I have to bring it in here and then he has it on a tripod and it's just it's annoying first world problems I know and so I want my own. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy my own, and then I never did, so. Anyway, and I keep licking my lips and it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna use um, my Shane Dawson thing. Um, and I basically used the absolute shit out of it. There's like nothing left, but I'm gonna scrape some out of here. Before I put on a matte lipstick, I just realized I'm going to put on a matte liquid lip instead of like a lip gloss, so. This should have been in my empties video yesterday, but I've been using it, like literally scraping it out with my nail. Hi, Feedums. I'm pretty sure I just tried to swallow some. Gross. I'm glad you all saw that. I'm sorry I can't edit. You would think I'm a millennial. I would know how to use technology, but I don't. So I grabbed the wrong one. Here it is. So I grabbed the black lip liner instead of the red. I wanted the red. So I use this as um, eyeliner. We're actually gonna do like a green look today. Unless I decide to do pink, but um, I'm going to sharpen this because it does not look good. There's two cats at my feet, sorry. I think they're distracting me. This is full. I feel like I'm constantly sharpening this. This is from Jeffree Star, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but it's one of his lip liners. And I don't really use lip liner, honestly. I just prefer to use it as eyeliner. I think I use it more that way, but it does stay all day. And it looks cool. And this is like a pinky red. It's in the shade Red Rum. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Red Rum. Like The Shining. If you haven't seen The Shining, you need to go watch it. That's a great one. Great classic. Like, I don't know what they're doing. They're like plotting all the cats. Don't mind me. Like, if you don't like cats, this is not the channel for you. There's lots of them. We're actually thinking about getting another one. I know. We're at five. We're thinking about getting a sixth one because Pierre is the baby and nobody wants to play with him <laughs> because he's three and the next youngest to him is our Jack and Sally because they're siblings. They're nine. Sorry, that's my smoke detector. I need to change the batteries. Um, he, they're nine 
And so they just like, nobody wants to play with him. They're just like, get away from me, you baby. And so we are thinking about getting him a baby. Not like a baby baby. I don't think I could handle a kitten right now um, to like retrain, like don't mess with the furniture, but maybe like another two or three year old. Anyway, I'm using my ColourPop palette that I created. I'll link it down below too, like how to create your own palette. But um, these are the colors I picked. I love glitter, so of course I put a lot of glitter in there. And I'm just using the tan shade to go through real quick. I say real quick and this is going to be like a 30 minute video, my apologies. I'm like, good thing I'm just going to prison. I show up when I get there. Yeah, it's 5.17. I'm like, I should be leaving like right before 5.30, but... <sighs> Alright, what color do I want? I have a lot of colors going on. Um, stop it. I'm not really feeling the green. I'm not. And I have the pink underneath. So let's go with... Hmm. Like, I have all these cool colors. I don't know what to do. Love it. Let's go pink. So I'm going to go with this cool pink color. Let's just go there. Blending. And I really love ColourPop's eyeshadows, which is why I bought an entire thing of them. I really need my husband to replace those batteries because that's going to drive me insane. And I can't even remember if... Uh, yeah, I know it happened yesterday because I was filming and it annoyed me, but... I don't know if it happened throughout the entire video, and if it did, I'm very sorry. I think it just happens periodically. And if you're curious, when you're making your own palette, and you're like, I like that color, this one is called, and the palette's magnetic, by the way, so you can just take these out of the palette and like rearrange it. This is called Latch Key, and it's a matte. Um, yes, yeah, so you can just like take them out and like rearrange them if you want. Blending. Yeah, I totally do not plan on doing pink today. It's just kind of what's happening because all I have for green is that one in the very end, like the very bottom right there. That's my mat, and that's not really the green I'm going for. So, like sometimes plans change, so I'm just gonna go with pink. And I have a lot of glitter, and I love glitter, so we're gonna do glitter. God, stop. And I have this really pretty glitter I haven't used a lot of. Look at how pretty that is. And like, if you don't like clumpy glitter, that's fine, but I don't care, so I, I do. And I could have used some glitter glue, but honestly, their, glue, their glitters stay on really well without a glitter glue, so I'm just going in. And I could have used more eyeshadow underneath, but it's fine. Because I wasn't really sure if I was going to do a glitter or a shimmer, but honestly, the, I'm loving the glitter, so that's fine. No one's going to look that closely anyway. They're just going to be like, oh my god, glitter! The only thing that sucks about glitter is you get like the fallout, so you could do your eyes first if you care that much, but... I don't care. What's wrong, Pierre? I think the beeping is scaring him, because he's just kind of looking around like, what the hell? I have Jack in here too, sitting right by the door. His ears are perked up, also concerned. But not as much as Pierre. Pierre is like act actively scared. Just going underneath with one of the um, makeup erasers to see if it'll get rid of any of the excess glitter, but I really doubt it. Like picked up like 
maybe two particles or so. So we're just going back in with a sponge. Not that it picked up anything, because it didn't. And then go back in with our, f our fluffy brush. I know, PR. I hope you can hear him, because he's so cute. He's our alien baby, we love that cat. Okay, so eyes are done, mostly. We gotta do eyeliner and mascara, but that's about it. I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. If you've been here, you know. I'm like, I can't use any other eyeliner, I just can't. I've tried other eyeliners, they just don't stay. Like, everyone always swears by the, what's her name? The KVD one, or the, it was Kat Von D, but she isn't part of the brand anymore. The tattoo liner, and it's just, it's so gray, it's not even black. Ugh, you can see that one's kind of wavy, so we'll fix it. Hmm, close enough. I say as I go back in to fix it. I was like one was just longer than the other and this one's a little thinner and this one's thicker at the end but the more I mess with it, the more it's gonna piss me off so we're just gonna leave it alone. And I'm using the Man Eater by Tarte. Mascara, I really like this mascara. Like, I like false lashes too. I just don't like wearing them daily because um, my eyelashes are sad as it is and putting false lashes on top of them is just going to make them worse in the long run. I'm like, I'm always so unsure of where to look. Like, do I look in the camera? Do I look at the mirror? And I like this brush because it's thin. Yeah, there we go. And so you can really get like all up in your the corner of your eye. I should have done like a before and after, but you can really tell the difference. On me anyway, because I don't have any eyelashes. Make a stupid face. Put on like six more coats. Ah, there we go. I was like trying to get in there and I couldn't, there we go. All right, that's done. And then I wanted to show this because I've been loving this. Like it hasn't moved from my vanity since I bought it. Oh, who is that? Sorry, Pierre. Um, this is the Cavity Highlighter Palette from Jeffree Star. And I know you're like, bitch, we're tired of Jeffree Star. I don't care, okay? Um, his stuff has been on sale a lot lately and I've been buying it because I love it. I don't care about him as a person. Um, I like his stuff. And if you're tired of hearing about it, don't look at it. That's it but I haven't heard anyone complain. So this is the Jeffree Star Cavity Palette and it's amazing. Like the packaging is cool. Like I don't really care about this, but the inside is what matters. So it's a highlighter palette, but I've been using it as blush more than anything. So this is the highlighter, but these three I've been using as blushes and I'm like in love with it. So get over it. We're using our new blush brush the man eater one because it's so cute so because my eyes are pink we're gonna go in with the orange blush or it's a highlighter but I'm using it as a blush and it's so glowy and it's so pretty and I'm just in love like it has not moved from my vanity since I bought it like oh, two weeks ago because I've been using it like every day 
Like, I don't know if you can tell. Yes, you can. It's very glowy and it's just so pretty. Like, I am in love. This is called Frozen Prick. And normally I hate the dentist. I hate anything to do with it. But I thought this was so pretty. And he was having a buy one, get one sale. So I bought myself one and then my friend Savannah wanted one too. And obviously you could use these as highlighters too. They're light enough. Um, I just thought, oh, it's orange. I'm gonna use it as a blush and I really like it. And see, so it's super glowy. You really don't even need highlighter, but because I'm extra, we're gonna do highlighter. So we're gonna use Icing IV, which is the light one right here. go on top of that orange because why not and so you're super glowy glowy AF okay and we're gonna try, I've never used, I've used a lip liner like twice and I have really big lips so I don't really feel like they're necessary if you have big lips. I feel like they're more if you have little lips and you're trying to like double line and no hate if you have little lips, none whatsoever. I'm just saying I feel like they're more for if you have small lips and you're trying to like make them bigger. So let's see. Because I just feel like I look like a cholo right now. It is creamy though. Can't lie. You see what I mean? Because like I even got it underneath my lip line and it wasn't even on purpose. So I feel like it's more like if you're trying to make your lips look bigger and I just did and it wasn't on purpose and now I feel like they look huge. I already have big lips and people ask me all the time if they're fillers and they're not. They're just, I have big lips. I'm like now I like, I feel so uncomfortable. I do not like this at all. I'm like we're going to go underneath and fix it. Ah, oh, that's better. I'm like, yeah, that's not for me. Let's try the liquid lipstick though. It's in the shade Ulta Beauty Matte. When you first put it on, it's really runny, like it got in my mouth. I'll see how it dries down though. It's a really pretty color. And I feel like because of the lip liner, like it like really like accentuated one part of my lip and not the other. <laughs> like I'm struggling today. I guess that's the point of the lip liner is to help keep your lip, like the lipstick inside where the lines are, but it just did not help me at all. Um, it's drying down okay. But now I'm like, I feel like I need to put more because I feel like I just fucked that up. It's just a really wet formula. But anyway, 
all that's drying. We're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter. My husband's alarm just went off, so perfect timing. But I hope you guys had fun getting ready with me. I have to go to work. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday. Bye.